welcome to the small grow room that is starting to take over the room. I thought we could do a quick update on how the ladies are doing in here. So I do have this um, in English ivy, this pothos um, growing in here. And then the rubber tree plant is back there. I really need to take that to work. I know I said that last time we looked at her, but I think I really need to do that. And then this one here is the banana something plant. Let's see, the banana croton. And since she's been sitting over here without a lot of lighting, she's not getting the yellow striations that she would normally have. Normally you would see this and then either a lot of spotting or striations with more light. My daughter and my son-in-law got this for me for Mother's Day back in 2020. So pretty proud I've kept it this long. And then this is the lilac uh, African violet that sits in here. This is the rescue number three, I believe. Is it three? Uh, it's either two or three, but she has grown this leaf this season and that is it. I don't see a lot of root activity. She's got roots in there. There's not a lot of root activity, so I let her dry completely before I water her again because she's really not doing much of anything, just chilling out. This is our Project Orchid, the tiny honey or teeny honey, however you want to. I guess it's teeny because there's two ends, but look at the leaf. This is the small leaf that she had when we first got her, and look at the growth on it. It is practically the same length as the previous. Now, I don't see a lot of new roots yet. I'm sure they're in there, but she is just loving her life right now, living right here. My ZZ plant has a new growth here, and these are very slow growers, guys. And my Hilo firecracker, oh, it is going downhill. Look at this, guys. Look at that, look at those poor bulbs. So what I've done is there's moss at the bottom, tree fern, and then bark, and she's kind of sitting right under the bark, and I'm hoping to encourage some kind of growth. I really, really am trying to save this one. Jewel Orchid is putting out lots of new growth down here. And she's just in an all-purpose potting soil. And then the uh, Makotes and another piece of the Jewel Orchid is in a moss and lava, small lava rock mix. They're doing fine. But look at all the blooms I'm getting ready to get on this, Chris, or this Thanksgiving cactus. And I really thought this was supposed to be pink. But from the bloom or buds i think she's gonna be white maybe i thought i had a pink one and she was really white i don't know i know that this one if it ever blooms is going to be a reddish pink so maybe i got them confused this one doesn't show any signs of budding quite yet or wait a minute is that the sign of a little bud right here perhaps Perhaps, perhaps, maybe she's going to put on one or two. Who knows? And I am going to apologize ahead of time for the glare of the sun because it is really, really sunny in this area. But look at the Rhynchostylus gigantea. Look at the leaf that she is. Look how quickly that leaf is growing. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. Look at that. When we looked at my favorite orchid, it was just starting, and now look how quickly that's come out. That was about two, three weeks ago. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And then the green leopard here, the Wyanus green leopard, has been repotted into this clear pot from the orchid supply store, which if you are looking for the clear pots, and if you want to put holes in them, you can, but they have some nice big drainage holes down here. Go to the orchidsupply.com and use the coupon code TRISH at checkout and get 12% off. This one has two new growths on it. And do you see that little green, that shiny green there? It looks like she might have a third direction of growth. But so far, she's doing really well. And she gets lots of bright light, as you can tell, in this window. And I was thinking of using these plant hooks on the wall and hanging my vandas in here. This is the room, I, when I say um, maybe grow them in the extra room, because look at, okay, it doesn't look very bright here, right? 
but as you get closer, you can tell it's really bright in this window. It's a southwest facing window. I think they would do really well in here. Let me know what you think down below. In the meantime, let's look at this one. I'm gonna show you the name tag because I always say it wrong. There we go. She has been moved into this window to get the bright, cooler winter because from what I've read, they want a cool winter and a little bit drier. So she's only getting watered about every 10 days and she's in a uh, bonsai grit and small bark mix, but her growths look really, really good. And of course, my dendrobium lime green that I got from Yoshi as a freebie is just still just hanging out. That bulb or that cane has not shriveled at all. I'm just waiting on a new growth. I figure I'd put it up here where the light is a little brighter and maybe we can kickstart it into growth. Then let's look at the Queen's Bear right here. She's finished this leaf and I don't see any new growth on her. My poor, poor love knot. I don't think it's gonna make it. I really don't, but I keep trying, keep trying. And we have the Tadia Blush, Tadia Pink Lucky right here. She's finished this leaf and I don't see anything else going on with her at the moment. Well, but she's got a new root. Okay, well, I guess she's growing a new root. And the Dendrobium Second Love has a new growth here. I'm hoping to see her bloom soon. I don't know. I think I've got her in a too big of a pot. We'll have to wait and see. Vanda Pearl Cooper is sitting right here in front of this window, Loving Life, is finishing this leaf, and then of course has a new leaf there and lots and lots of new root activity. Mel Star, I think she might want to bloom for us because this looks a lot different than the previous leaf growths. Could be another leaf, but she does have a new fan. If we can get in there and see, let me see. So she's got a new fan right there. And then she also has this new fan right here and she's absorbing these back fans. So don't be, don't be concerned if your Pathiopedalum starts doing this, it's totally natural for it to do. My um, Shaleriana is finishing off this leaf, which is the most beautiful thing. I love the modeling on this thing. Just love it. And my two Zygopedalums here. So this one back here is the Marasaki Kamachi right here. That has, it's actually ended up being two pieces that got put in there. And she is in Cocoa Husk new growth on this side and then this new growth and i don't think that this one is going to bloom because normally they would go ahead and push out a spike before they start developing their leaves i could be wrong she could just be set off from the repot and then this one here is still kind of growing up just now starting to open the leaves this one is a no id that i got in may of 2022 with this new growth here that she is starting to open her leaves as well. Down underneath them are three more Pathiopedalums, each working on that one is the one that was just in bloom, which I believe was the apple. Oh, no, it was the Makoti's Pop, Macrobay Pops. Pathiopedalum Macrobay Pops was just recently in bloom and is pushing out that new growth. And then this one here, I don't know, I have them all turned around up where I can't read them, is the Spring Pleasure. And she has another leaf coming on her. And then this one here is the Red Apple that is working on this leaf right here. Or is it this one? Nope, it's this one. And then here is another failure for the year. So my beautiful Lavaflorium variation Arianum was doing really well. I ended up, I think, giving her too much light too fast because I did her like I did the other dendrobium, moved her to a much brighter area, and she, all of those empty bulbs you see there had leaves on them at one time. So I put her back into a more subdued light area, and she is 
starting to kick out new growth. So I don't think she wants that bright of a light that quickly. And I did repot her into some small Orchiata bark and perlite. She was in a moss setup that was just staying wet a little bit too long. And back here, we still have the Violacea that is doing absolutely nothing. She's not continuing to absorb that leaf. She's not growing any roots. She's not doing anything. So still, still hoping for a cakey on her. And then my poor Sarai 2.0. She's not doing much of anything either. I think I'm going to have to get a 3.0 because I just love the blooms on this one. Just love the blooms on this one. And that is the update. But let me know what you think about hanging the Vandas in here. I think they would benefit from being in here. Plus, this room gets pretty warm in the summertime, even with the AC on, because of the southwest-facing windows. It stays warm in here. And everyone have a beautiful day.